payoff. here and it has pictures of fun guy on it Contestants to the Nilud Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament. I am Kautilya, a senior Amorta researcher and the organizer of today's tournament. I'm sure you're probably all very intrigued by the idea of fighting fungi and excited at the prospect of our amazing prizes. But if this worry not, the wisdom ore we've developed exclusively for this event makes use of Amorta's most advanced intellectual boost technology. It is absolutely reliable and safe. So please cast your reservations aside and enter the tournament with confidence. Also, it gives me great pleasure to announce that this event is sponsored by Mr. Elhingen, a renowned businessman from Fontaine who has generously provided a grand total of 60 million mora for our prize fund. And if anyone is able to prove themselves capable of carrying out Mr. Elhingen's philosophy by passing the ultimate trial, he will be willing to give them his entire fortune. The only other condition is that the winner must agree to carry on Mr. Elhingen's legacy by hosting the Nilud Pala Cup Beast Tamers tournament in the future. Whoa! Paimon can't believe that rich guy threw 60 million mora at this event! Just like that! And what was all that about inheriting his entire fortune if you promised to keep his beast taming tournament going? Also, hosted by an academia scholar, huh? Oh, pretty official. I uh, might be a little inappropriate if we just barged in and tried to shut it down. So, um, why don't we enter the tournament and see if this wisdom orb thingy actually works? not it. It's just, uh, now that everything in Sumeru has finally settled down, don't you think it'd be a little unfair to Nahida if we keep picking trouble with the academia? And he sounded really confident. Paimon's curious about how this mysterious fungi taming device works. Although they've caused this trouble in the past, 
the Funkai aren't just aggressive monsters, right? They're more like wild animals with bad tempers. Since there's no longer any safety concerns, we don't need to worry. Maybe we can even try becoming friends with the Funkai. Paimon thinks that would be fun. Besides, if we do well in the tournament, we'll be able to earn some extra mora. There are basically no drawbacks. Yep, that's the way we roll. Looks like we sign up over there. Come on, let's grab a wisdom orb and enter the tournament. <laughs> Looks like the people ahead of us are still signing up. Let's wait our turn. Golden Comet and Silver Companion. So, you're competing too? Huh? You know us? But what's with those names? We've never heard them before. You're a tough duo if the posters are to be believed. Some mercenaries who managed to escape from you painted your portraits, warning others to avoid messing with you at all costs. Paimon doesn't know whether to be flattered or to try and explain that we aren't as scary as the rumors suggest. Unfortunately, the rules of this tournament state the Beast Tamers aren't allowed to use their weapons, or even fight each other directly. Your impeccable combat skills won't be any use to you here. The tournament is about capturing fungi, training them, and commanding them in combat. There's no way of knowing whether commanding fungi is a skill you'll be able to master in time. That's true. We've never captured a fungus before and wouldn't know anything about how to get them to fight. Wait a second! You don't look like a staff member! What are you lecturing us for? Who are you anyway? The name's Ania. I used to work for the Aramites, taming grumpy sumpter beasts. Ended up with a reputation for being a beast tamer, so they got me involved with testing the Wisdom Orb early on. Anyway, my name ain't worth remembering. I'm just an illiterate nobody. All I'm good for is doing odd jobs for Aramite Mercs. Just think of me as another contestant. I do have a lot of experience taming beasts, though. Want me to teach you? You guys are worth me getting to know, as allies or opponents. Because either way, you can get rid of some obstacles for me in this competition. Of course, I'd prefer allies, if possible. Well, that was blunt, but also quite honest. It's definitely better to have an expert teach us than figure everything out on our own, right? Well, what do you think? Should we take her up on her offer? All right then. Take this wisdom orb and let's go catch some fungi at the designated area. She gets right to the point, doesn't she? This is where you'll capture your fungi. The fungi in this area are highly compatible with the Wisdom Orb, and they're ideal for training and competing with. The Wisdom Orb can capture and store fungi. It also serves as a controller. I recommend giving each fungus a code name to make commanding them easier. For example, this one next to me is Pyro 1, which means Pyrofungus number one. You just go off their elements and then number them? Hmm. Seems kind of boring to Paimon. Uh, this fungus looks pretty lively. Why don't we call it Bouncy Happy Shroom? Uh, thanks, but uh, no thanks. I've got my own way of naming them and I'm gonna stick with it. It's simple, straightforward. It helps me with managing them. Yeah, you're probably used to calling it Pyro One anyway. All right, we'll stop. But wait until you hear the great names we come up with for our fungi. You might want to reconsider then.
Great, you've now collected all four fungi. The next step is to use the floral jelly provided by the organizers to boost your fungi's abilities. That way, they'll be able to unleash powerful skills during combat. Paimon can't believe we're making progress so quickly! It's all thanks to your help, Hania! Hmm. Alright, let's all return to the arena now! Huh? Look, someone's staggering along with a fungus running circles around her. Uh, is she being attacked? She's collapsed! Let's go see what's happening! Uh, I can't go on... Uh, ...too weak... Are you hurt? How bad is it? Pyro-1, take it out! 
Wait, it's not an enemy. It's my shroom buddy. I'm just, just a little too tired to walk right now, but I still need to find three more shroom buddies to qualify for the tournament. You mean, you're a contestant too? I wasn't counting on running into other contestants here. Maybe... This is the end of the road for me. Twirly Whirly on its own is no match for you. Look after Twirly Whirly for me. Take him with you to the top. Hey, don't give up. It's not like we're a bunch of Aramites trying to steal your fungi. I, I uh, your shroom buddies. We're better than that. You should at least hang in there until we're in the arena so we can compete against each other properly. Hania over here is a professional beast tamer. And despite knowing that we might be her fiercest competitors, she still gave us lots of help and advice. Was that supposed to be a compliment? State your name and mission! Golden Kana and Silver Companion shall gladly come to your aid! R really? Then could you please help me collect the rest of the four shroom buddies I need? Uh, does this mean my luck is finally starting to change? Um, uh, my name is Layla. I'm just a student in the Ritawa's Darshan, so I don't have any impressive titles or anything. And my goal is to, uh, uh, to make it into the quarterfinals. If I can make it to the quarterfinals, I'll get to take my shroom buddies home and delegate some of my physical labor to them. Uh, uh, of course, I'll take good care of them, too. Oh, yeah! Paimon read that in the rules somewhere. All quarterfinalists get to take home any fungi of their choice. But, what do you mean physical labor? You're a student. Shouldn't you be busy with coursework and writing papers? Uh, this is pretty embarrassing, but, uh, uh so I must have some sort of congenital sleep disorder or something. Because I can never seem to get enough sleep. And I'm always really low on energy. Even the smallest amount of exercise makes me... <sighs> well, you saw me just now. I get so tired, I collapse from exhaustion. So when I said physical labor, I just meant basic stuff like moving books around or fetching things I need from the store. Ah, uh, you don't need to be embarrassed about that. It's totally normal. Paimon delegates chores to him all the time. First she calls them buddies, then she talks about wanting to live with them. Ridiculous. She sounds just like Elhingen. Well, looks like you've mastered everything already and moved on to helping others. I'm delighted for you. I'll see you around. Good luck. Huh? Why is Ania leaving all of a sudden? We haven't thanked you or Pyro won yet, Ania! Let's at least go get something to eat together! What's wrong? That beast tamer... Is she... angry? Hmm... Probably not. She's pretty blunt and doesn't make a great first impression, but she's definitely not a bad person. Otherwise, why would she have helped us? Yeah, we'll see her again. And when we do, let's give her some gifts to show her our gratitude. In the meantime, let's follow her example by doing our best in the tournament, helping other contestants, and making sure Layla gets to compete. Uh, thank you so much. Nicely done! Now that we've put together Layla's team, she should be eligible to take part! Let's head back to the arena and confirm with them!
clowns are looking. <gasps> Great! We're in a different group from Layla, so we won't have to compete against each other in the early stages of the competition! Actually, I hope I don't have to fight you guys in the later stages either. Oh? <laughs> Hello there, little ones. Sure enough, you're at the center of the action once again. You two truly are like the main characters in your own light novel. Uh, Miko! What are you doing here? Is Paimon hallucinating? <laughs> this tournament was advertised far and wide, including all the way over in Inazuma. They even handed out flyers in front of Yai Publishing House. Don't you think a tournament like this makes a perfect candidate for light novel treatment? Yai Publishing House is working on a bestseller that, if all goes to plan, will stay a bestseller for the next 50 years. The theme is friendship and rivalry, so we decided to bring our up-and-coming author Soka here to gather some inspiration. I, of course, need to ensure my writer's manuscripts are up to par. So, I will be taking part in the tournament myself to get a little taste of what it's like. Here's my little partner in crime. Soka named it Blitzara. I think it's rather good. Very distinctive. Who knew there'd be such a big turnout? Even Miko's here! Soka, come say hi to the little ones. They're set to be some of the fiercest competition you face in the tournament. You should put them in your novel as major characters. Yes, Chief Editor! For the sake of my readership, I won't back down! I'll beat... beat you! Yeah! Just cause you're with Miku doesn't mean we'll go easy on you. Ooh, yes. More of that. Do you feel that, Soka? Declaring a challenge to your archenemy in the making before the competition begins is a key plot device that helps build dramatic tension. I, I wouldn't say I'm feeling that exactly. Just, just thinking about competing against Her Excellency's Hanamizaka tour confidant is making me so nervous. I'm losing my, my mind. Hmm. In that case, head back to the inn and capture your nervous breakdown in writing while it's still fresh. This will make excellent source material, too. She's terrifying, but she also seems really dedicated to her craft. I hope we can be friends. And who is this softly spoken little lady? She's our new friend, Layla! We met her while we were out capturing fungi. Layla's entering the tournament because she wants to take her trained fungi back home to live with her. Her goal is to make it to the quarterfinals. Training fungi? And then domesticating them? How fascinating. You must be full of secrets. There's an intriguing story to be told here, no doubt. I'm Yai Miko, a light novel editor. Purely out of personal interest, and right now what I'm most interested in is you. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Uh... I have no idea how to respond to that. Traveler, Paimon, I really appreciate all your help. But I want to get to know my four shroom buddies a little better and prepare for the qualifiers, so I'll go do some training now. Don't push yourself too hard, Layla! You'll end up collapsing from exhaustion again! Miko, what are you doing scaring a new friend off like that? Oh... Am I really so terrifying? Well then, I'll simply have to talk to her again another time to clear things up. But that can wait. Judging from your expression, it seems like you have something you want to say to me, little one. I'm comforted to know that you didn't lose your heads amidst the hype, and you're not just in this to have some fun. Unfortunately, though, it appears that we're about to be interrupted. Guji Yahe, what an honor to finally meet you! We're so privileged that our tournament is your first destination in Sumeru. Huh? Isn't that the organizer? And that super rich businessman is here too! Goodness, I presume that the tournament is proceeding very smoothly indeed? Otherwise
Otherwise, how would the host and sponsor themselves have the time to spare to chat with contestants one-on-one? -on -one? How you jest, Gujiyai! Though such as your esteemed self deserve nothing short of the most lavish reception Sumeru has to offer. I see you've already had the chance to try out the Wisdom Orb. What are your thoughts on the future prospects of this technology? You know, with your blessing, it can be introduced into Inazuma, allowing you to swiftly resolve the situation of them. Um... <clears throat> right now, I am nothing but an ordinary editor-in-chief. I'm here to enjoy my vacation and gather some inspiration along the way. And if I can at all help it, I'd rather not concern myself with such weighty topics as the future fate of nascent technologies. Don't be so pushy, Mr. Cautelia. Droning on about the Academia's business ambitions is hardly respectful to our honored guest, who has traveled all the way from the Land of Thunder to be here. Not to mention that Gucci Yae is busy catching up with her friends. I dare say it was both unnecessary and discourteous to interrupt their conversation like this. A most pertinent remonstration coming from you, Mr. Elhingen. You do conduct yourself in such an unobtrusive manner, much as you have in your entire career, quietly amassing an enormous fortune while remaining almost entirely unknown. Why, to hear such high praise from the great Guji Yai is more prestige than I could ever hope for. Please, should you require anything at all, do not hesitate to seek my assistance. I will do everything within my ability to make your stay in Sumeru an enjoyable one. Also, to have the renowned traveler here at the tournament is an unexpected delight. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in action. Miko, they're here to do business with you, right? Should you really be turning them away like this? Especially the rich guy? Paimon thinks working with him could have a lot of advantages for Yai Publishing House. Promoting an entirely new event throughout all of Tevat so rapidly would be an impossible feat for any ordinary businessman. I, for one, do not wish for Yai Publishing House to be the subordinate partner in a business relationship with him. Besides, the tournament has only just begun. Who knows whether it will go on to be a success. I want to focus on trying to enjoy myself, while keeping one eye open for potential liabilities. Fungi may look adorable, but they carry potent elemental energy inside their bodies. Letting one's guard down around these creatures would be an unwise move, don't you think? So it wasn't just us. Yeah, we started out with some safety concerns about this event, but the Wisdom Orb seems pretty amazing. At least all the fungi we used it on have been very well behaved, like our bongo head here. Seems we don't need to be too nervous after all. Oh, Paimon, you're just as carefree and enthusiastic as ever. Well, it's about time for me to get into character. As a contestant, I need to go and get ready for the tournament. See you in the qualifiers. Blitzara, say goodbye to our friends. Coming here was a great idea! Look at us! Making new friends, bumping into Miko... Oh, this competition is shaping up to be a whole lot of fun! Come on, let's go get some floral jelly for Bongo Head's training, like Hania suggested! the champions to be here at long last. Come on now, use the floral jelly and awaken your fungi's true potential. Champions to be? <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. So you've heard about us too? Of course. I was standing right next to you when you collected your wisdom orb. 
I couldn't find a convenient opportunity to introduce myself, as Hania was busy explaining the tournament to you. With an expert mentor like Hania, I'm sure you'll become excellent beast tamers in no time. If even the staff are singing her praises, Hania must really know what she's doing. Well, all the more reason to give it our all!
Some more time training our fungi. Mm -hmm. 